Okay, this tutorial is going to be for the Grand Mall's chair for Kitten Middle School students. And so, uh, to get started, uh, this is our desktop page. Make sure you're there. Um, for KMS students, the AR class and the DM class, you guys will have an icon that is Robot 4.0, so Robot C. Double click on Robot C. When you do that, it's going to come up to a start screen. And that start screen uh, will not look like mine, uh, just because I've done my yours. Start screen will look like this. All right, and if I just click this X, that start screen goes away, and so you are left with a blank screen just like this. For uh, my students, we're going to go to File. Actually, before we do this, we always go to Robot first. We always go to Platform Type. Make sure that Vex 2.0 is check marked if it's not you need to go to vex robotics and click on this vex 2.0 cortex also you need to make sure natural language pltw is checked if i check this and it's already checked like if i click on this again and i go up to robot platform type it has unchecked it we need to make sure that it's checked okay so it's unchecked i'm going to check natural language pltw now, I want to get a template so that I don't have to type a bunch of stuff that I don't need to type. Somebody's already done the work for me. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to open up a sample program. So File, Open Sample Program, and I'm going to scroll down until I see PLTW. Double-click on this folder right here, and then we want the PLTW template double click on that and then it brings up see all that stuff that now you don't have to type uh, somebody's already typed this stuff for you but notice it says up here the file name is PLTW template we want to make sure that we save it as what we want to save it as so we're gonna to go to file save as and then we're gonna save it as grandma's chair save it as grandma's chair and when I click save it says that I cannot save it into the documents folder or I can't save it into the PLTW folder so it wants me to save it in the documents folder and you can say yes do that and then click save and yours you won't have this I do because I already have a file named that so I'm gonna say yes I want to replace it and here's what you have all right remember everything that's in green is pseudocode which means the cortex it's not a part of the functioning uh, uh, code. And so anything that's in green is just for you and I's use. So project title, we're going to call this Grandma's Chair. Team members, it would be whoever is in your group. Um, so if you and somebody else is in your group, you want to put both of your names. For me, so I'm just going to put man's because I'm the only one doing it. Date, uh, today is December. Uh, fourth, and so I'm going to put the date there, and the section is whatever period number uh, you may be. Okay, task description. We are going to to write, oops, write a code that will move Grandma's chair from the first floor to the second floor. So we're going to write a code that will move grandma's chair from the first floor to the second floor. That's what we want to do. Okay. So now that's all the pseudocode that we're going to write at the top. We are going to write some more pseudocode, but it's going to be more down at the bottom uh, explaining some of the things that we're going to do. All right. So first things, task main. So we got our first curly bracket. So notice we got it. A open bracket and we have a closed bracket everything that we do in between here should be between this closed bracket or this open bracket and this closed bracket so we're going to start here and we want this to be a closed loop so we're going to type while one equals equals one and remember you could put in parentheses true two equals equals two three equals equals three as so long as the statement is mathematically correct um, I shouldn't say that. Just make sure it's 1 equals equals 1 and it will work out for you. So while 1 equals equals 1, and then let's tab over and let's type in starts close loop. So this while 1 equals equals 1 starts the close loop. Okay? And so we're going to return and open up another bracket. So everything that's in this bracket 
is going to be the closed loop. So while 1 equals equals 1, open the bracket. And so we're going to start our actual function. So we're going to type the word if, and then open a parentheses. And then we're going to type the word sensor value. And if I just type, start typing, it brings up like an autofill. So I'm just going to click space. Nope. Um, actually, I'm going to click return and then it brings it up to me. Notice my parentheses somehow left. I want to make sure I got a parentheses. So sensor value and then I call these a straight bracket. Looks just like that. It's the same key as your curly bracket. It's just you don't have to click shift. So sensor value and we want to do bump switch. So bump is lowercase, switch is uppercase. The, uh, the number one <clears throat> close the straight I'm sorry close the brackets just like this okay and then we're gonna go equals equals one and remember the equals equals one it's saying the one represents the bump switch being pressed the one represents the bump switch being pressed if it's not one it's zero. Zero means it's off and one means it's on that it's been pressed and then since we started this parentheses we want to close this with a parentheses alright and click return so if bump switch one is pressed what do we want to happen well whatever we want to happen we want to put it in brackets alright so open a bracket and then we want when bump switch one is started we want it to start motor notice I can click return now that it's highlighted so start motor and we're gonna call our motor motor one and then comma and we're gonna set the speed at 40 and then close the parentheses and do a semicolon so if sensor value bump switch one is pressed we're gonna start the motor click return and we're gonna close the bracket because that's all we want to happen if the bump switch one is pressed alright click return now we need to do an else if. So if bump switch one's not pressed, but something else pressed, what do we want? So else if, and then we're going to do a parentheses again, sensor value, oops, sensor value, and notice it brings it up for me, so I'm going to click return, sensor value, and this time, if bump switch two is touched. Bump switch two, and then we close the bracket, and again, equals equals one just means is it pressed? If it's pressed, it gives a number one, a new numerical value of one. So else if sensor value bump switch two equals equals one, what do we want to happen? Well, whatever we want to happen, we want it to happen inside brackets, these curly brackets again. So if bump switch two is pressed, we want to start a motor again. And it's going to be the same motor, so in parentheses, we're going to put motor 1, comma, but instead of 40, we want to go to the other direction, so we want to do a negative 40, a negative 40. And then again, at the end of it, we put our semicolon, and that's the only thing that we want to happen uh, with this, this line right here. Once bump switch 2 is pressed, we want it to start motor, but we want it to be a negative 40. All right. Uh, we've got two more digital ports that we're going to have filled and that the other one is going to be the, um, the limit switches. So we're going to do an else if, and again, we'll do parentheses, sensor value, and then we'll do a limit switch this time. Limit switch one, close that straight bracket like we have been, equals equals one. <clears throat> and then close your parentheses. So if limit switch one is pressed, this one, what do we want to happen? Well, whatever it is, we need to put it in brackets. So let's go ahead and start the brackets. And we know we want the limit switch one to stop a motor. And so I can just go down here and click stop a motor, click return. And then in parentheses, what motor do we want to stop? Motor one. And notice I can just close the parentheses and put a semicolon because there's only one motor. Okay, so stop motor, and that's all we want to happen, so we're going to close the parentheses. Okay, now click return. The last one is limit switch 2. 
Well, I've already done all of this work. So what I'm going to do is just copy that. Make sure all of it's, I'm going to copy all of that. So control C, or you can go up to edit, copy, either way. And click return, and then I go control V to bring all of this. I just pasted all of this. Or you could do an edit, paste, either one, and it'll bring this. The only thing that needs to change from limit switch 1 to stop motor, we want to do a limit switch 2. We want the second limit switch to also stop the motor. So notice these two things look almost identical. The only thing that's different is limit switch 2 as compared to limit switch 1. All right, and the last thing to do is else. All right, if anything else, no buttons are pushed, what do we want to happen in brackets? We're just going to type in pseudocode nothing. We don't want anything to happen. And close the bracket just like that. Okay. And now let's see if how we did. This button up here at the top says fix formatting. Let's click that button. And notice that we're missing one bracket. If I click compile program, I would be miss I would have an X because I'm missing a bracket. So I'm going to click this and click an and, and produce another closed bracket. Alright. So I've got two, actually three closed brackets at the end. One of its closing is this. I'm closing that. The other one's closing the um, closed loop. That's that one. And this third one is closing the entire program. So you should have three closed brackets at the bottom. The last thing we need to do is just set up our motor sensor setup. So under here's the digital. So we need to type in bump switch one. And it's a touch so I'm going to double click on that, highlight it, and all I'm going to do is copy and paste. So bump switch one, I'm going to make bump switch two. This one, we want to limit switch one. And I'm going to double click that. I'm going to copy, control C, click control V, and make that limit switch two. All of these are touch. All of these are touch. And then motors, go under motors, and we have one motor. It's motor one, and we need to make sure it's a VEX 393 motor. Click OK, and then let's see how we did. If we compile program, code generated, not perform errors during compilation, and we got a couple different uh, X's. If we ever get X's, we need to figure out why the, there were X's. Well, here I put a parentheses instead of a hard bracket, and since I copied and pasted, both of them did not have hard brackets, so I'm going to fix those and click Compile Program. And notice no X's, so it worked. And that's how you're going to program Grandma's chair.